good game in general. Um, but one thing that's really annoying is there's no restart mission button. I'm not gonna go for pure plats on most missions, by the way. Just this one, because it's so long. I also may not use the Gaze of Despair the whole time. It actually sort of makes the game easier in some ways, because the enemies are really easy to predict. And then with the really easy to predict enemies, um, you know, you can get witch time really easily. It, it definitely doesn't make the game easier on non-stop Infinity Climax, for instance, but... Well, Shadra's also super amazing for killing those things, because you just, um... You just pull yourself to them, and it does enough damage, and they die. I played a lot of DMC3 years and years ago, back when I still played console games. And this is this is better than DMC3, mainly because the enemies aren't such giant steaming piles of crap. I'm also not beyond using the Durga glitch. It, that that is a very not okay attack. Okay. Well, that that should be your plan. Yeah. The requirements for the second part are also pretty easy. Does that actually keep my weapon switch? I think it does. I think maybe my favorite addition is just the whole way that you um, extend attacks with your guns. It, it really adds a whole lot that is missing in DMC3. This, uh, this, is, this is basically, I would say DMC4, but I, it turns out DMC4 actually came out first. But I mean, they're basically. This is DMC four and a half. All right, that should be plenty. This is pretty straightforward, and if it's not, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Obviously, that part of the mission is um, way easy if you start with three full witch magic bars, whatever they are. So hooray! We've accomplished uh, one one mission. And that's probably the only one I care about pure platinum on, because it, it, 